Hey, what's up? It's DJ. Welcome back to Elm Creek episode 24 here at Farming Simulator 22. Today, we are going to be finally turning this area into a big animal farm. We're going to be getting some cows, sheep, pigs, and chickens to start with, and then we'll go from there. Think of this video as kind of like an animal farm build. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you like videos like this or just want to see more Farm Sim 22 in general, make sure you subscribe so that you don't miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. All being said, let's jump right in. So to start with, we've got to talk about what areas we're going to be using, how we're going to be doing it, and then what animals are going to go and maybe where they're going to go. So the easiest thing to do is to show you guys through the landscaping mode. What we're going to do is we'll go in here and we will select level. Then I'm going to start here because this is going to be kind of our entry into the farm, if you want to call it like that. And we're going to level from here or possibly from here and we'll flatten out at least these two plus this one. Now we may extend out to here, but I kind of want to make this last field right in this area. I want to make that a grass field. That way, pink, we've got grass for later on. I also want to make uh, maybe one of these a grass field to go through here. Maybe eventually we could do animals in all of these, but for right now, we're just going to do them in these two fields right here. Now, one thing that might cause a few issues is, as you can see, there's some undulating terrain through here. So this area here is much lower than the area way up here. So I'm going to try and get a nice level area and then go through and smooth it all out. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Now that we got our handy dandy uh, <laughs> control menu here, let's go super, super big with it. And we'll go square and we'll go all the way hard flat with this. I'm just going to start right here. And there we go. So we'll take this area exactly right there. We're going to try and go all the way out to the edge of where these fields are. I don't want to go any further out, but I do want to get, you know, out to there at least. And of course we can kind of get it here nice and easy. Around the outside is, I would say probably the most important part to get right, because we're gonna be going out pretty close to it. Another thing that's a little bit interesting and a little bit frustrating is even on the max setting right here, it doesn't flatten out the entire thing. As you might be able to see in front of you right here, part of that area is hide, some of it's not. Why is it like that? Just do the whole area. <laughs> That's why I'm here, home slice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Nonetheless, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna go through and flatten out this entire farming area. Things are going well so far. I've gotten a lot of this area done, as you can see, but I've still got plenty more to go. Everything in gray, we've done. I'm gonna be extending out to this field as well, and then I'm probably gonna leave the ones that are cultivated alone. However, this one right here, I figure we'll go do with that. And one thing that I have found as well is in order to get this completely flat like you used to, you got to keep your finger on the button. And I've noticed that uh, it, it didn't take me very long. So in the middle, everything that's kind of red, that will work almost immediately, as you can see. But everything on the outside, for whatever reason, you have to sit here and hold it and it takes forever. Not a fan, not a fan at all, but it is what it is, and we'll move forward from it. Uh, so I'm going to try and get as close to the edge right here as I possibly can, because this is going to be where the animal farm is. It's going to be part of all of this, and we want to get as flat of a surface as possible. So if you're playing along at home, if you're making your own farm as well, make sure you've got a nice flat surface to play with. And then after you've got your nice flat surface to work with, then you can go in and smooth it out, make some nice hills, stuff like that. But this, doing it this way, will make it really, really easy. I promise you. Now that the fun and kind of most dangerous part is done, we've got everything nice and flat now. Now we get to figure out, well, what's going to go where? So I think what I'm going to do is for shot number one here, Let's go with a before, so definitely, definitely take a screenshot. There you go. Okay, now save the game super fast, and let's get in and let's start placing down some animal pens. Uh, like I said before, we want to do two of each, so two cow, two pig, two sheep, and two chicken. We could also put some bees and horses down, but I'm just not interested 
at least right now. For cows, we could use this shed right here, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to use this shed right here. This one, eh, I, would, I don't know if I'd say it's a little bit easier to work with, but it's definitely a little bit easier for me to work with, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go with this one. We said we want to put down two. I kind of want to put down four. Uh, the, the interesting thing and the annoying, so annoying thing about this, they only hold 80. I understand this is realistic. I don't play realistic. I'm, you know, two games ago, we had unlimited cows. And then the last game, we had limited to 500. And now they're like, oh, yeah, you can only have 80. Please, can I have 1,000? That's that's all I really want. I could place down 10 of these, which, by the way, you can only do 10 animal pens. And, um, yeah, once you get past that, oof. <clears throat> so, uh, how are we going to do this? Do we want to put maybe four kind of catty corner like actually i think that might be a good idea yo check this out all right all right here's how i'm gonna do this we'll put it like right here just close enough to this area so that we can use this pathway but not so bad that where we can't get around <clears throat> there's one i also also apologize my uh my throat i've been having some interesting sinus uh funsies so that's what's going on there Let's put another one right here that gives us plenty of room to go back and forth between the two. All right, all right, all right. A little Matthew McConaughey there for you. Then we'll flip this around, right? Just like so. We'll make sure it's straight-ish by utilizing another line that's in game. There we go. That will work. And then all we got to do is place it yeah, roughly about the same area, but just the other side. So like right about there-ish, that'll work. And then maybe one more, right about-ish. Boop. Not bad, I like that, that looks good. And that's gonna give us a total of 360 cows. So that's pretty sweet as well. No, not 360, 300. Ma I'm not allowed to do math, so let's just move on from there. More animals, little baby piggies, I think we should go with. now. We got 270 pigs that we can run here. Uh, with 270 pigs, that's not too bad at all. And I'm actually thinking about maybe utilizing these this way. So put it like there and do like maybe one here, one here, and then maybe like another one here. Uh, that's not what I meant to do there. Uh, another one. <laughs> Let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Uh, and then two, like, down here. That way, we've got them all right in an order, and we can just drive straight down through them and uh, go like that. I think that might be the easiest thing, at least for me. We can just drive straight down through there. We've got uh, access to the slurry, and we've got access to food should be pretty easy maybe plus we can draw some like roads or something in between i think that's a good idea and and you guys know me and my good ideas uh, so we'll line them up make it look nice and easy yes <laughs> and again i'm i've no plan you probably figured that out by now but i have no plan as to how i want this to go i'm just kind of going with the flow and if I think it looks cool, then it looks cool. All right, so there's four places for pigs. Not too shabby, and we're still doing pretty good on money as well. Uh, don't pay attention to the fact that I may or may not have cheated money, and I won't tell if you won't tell, but if you tell, I swear I'll deny it. So there you go. Oh man, can we change the colors on these or no? Place item tilt. We can't on this. I think we could have on the cattle though. I might want to go back in and change the color on those to be red. Yeah, could have done red on the cows. Could we on the pigs as well? We could have, but it really doesn't show that much. Yeah, really, green ain't my thing. I'm just going to be for, for realsies for a minute. Um, let's zoom down in here. So the pigs are white. Yeah, the cows are, are green, which don't really match too well with the... Oh, man, they don't match at all. 
You know what? Green it is. I like green. So now all we gotta do is place down some areas for the little baby sheepies. Uh, <laughs> yeah, green is in, by the way. Uh, what I wanna do is maybe four, like two, three, four, straight down the line. Uh, we don't need to actually get into where the animals are themselves. So for something like this, this should be pretty simple to do. So like one there and then kind of line up here, just like that, two. But I like here, three, and then four. Now we've still got a nice straight way through here where we can draw a road or something like that, or maybe put some trees down. I'm definitely gonna be putting trees down in between all of these. Now I did say I wanted to do something for chickens, um, chickens might could be like on the back side, back here. So we'll take this, maybe flip it. Oh, that is, that's a cliff. That's exactly what that is. Ooh, we're gonna have to find somewhere to put this. I got it. The chickens will have their own little row down through here. I think that's gonna be the perfect idea. Also, I did replace the cows with red barns. It just looks better. Looks way better. I don't even know why they let them do it the other way in the first place. All right, so we'll do a couple of these. We'll go for a solid one there. Doing good with one so far. We'll go with a two here, a little bit further down. There we go. And then we'll go for three. ka -chow. And then we'll go for here. We could go all the way straight down. We're gonna be getting a lot of eggs though. You know what, I think I wanna do it. Why not, right? Why not? Let's just go go for broke. All right, I think that's about all we can fit down through there. So <clears throat> now we have four cattle pens, four pig pens, four sheep pens, and six, technically seven, chicken pens. Not bad. Not bad at all. Unfortunately, you can only place down one honeybee hive, so uh, honeybees are a little bit interesting. There's really no point to put anything down there. We could go with some horses, but horses get a ride and stuff, and we're not really going to get anything from them. Horses, they, you have to actually do them to even profit a little bit. So I don't care too much about that. Now it's going to be a whole lot of painting and road creating and maybe some trees down. Stuff to make this look nice. We're also going to need to go through and uh, flatten a lot of this. So let's go back to here. We'll go ahead and take another screenshot just so we can kind of get an idea of what it looked like. And one more time, save your game. If you don't do that, <laughs> that's not going to be fun. Now that a lot of our placeables are down, we could go through and build a little bit of a farm area. Maybe some places where we've got sheds or something like that. Really don't need that. We could do it. And by the way, this is not glitchy. I don't know what in the world's going on in OBS today. It's awful. There we go. Not bad, not bad, not bad. So here's what we need to do. Because I know we're going to put some trees down and probably not going to do any place bulls, at least for now, we might do like a shed or something over here. As a matter of fact, we could probably go ahead and look into that real quick. Uh, just a shed location. That's a little big. This, this one's about perfect. Not too bad there. This would be a good one. We actually don't have this shed out yet at least i don't think we do do we yeah we do have this one we do have this one these are definitely my favorite as well so maybe we'll put down like one of these here and we'll have like a an over over around kind of building because we've got doors on every side of this we could go with a nice red and just place it smack dab right in the middle boom just like that all right, now let's get into landscaping one more time. We need to go in here to soften because we want all this to look like it's supposed to look like this. So we want to go as hard as it'll go and usually about as big as it will go as well. Like in here and then all of this terrain and all of this land will slowly mold into each other. So all of these... These big hills and stuff like that that we built where we flattened everything out. Well, now all you got to do is run through and it'll smooth it all out. So it makes it seem as if the land was like it all along. And your bushes will go down too. Don't get too close to your animal pens because you could run into some problems there. But 
as doing this, eh, it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and bring this in just a little bit in size, maybe like here, and we'll come through the edge right here. Doing this is going to bring the side of our field in line with the side of the uh, little river area right here. So that's pretty nice. Going through here, we do have a placeable. As you can see, I did get a little close. So I'm going to have to... Oh boy. We're going to have to build real quick. Uh, need to go small. Yeah. And we need to go not super powerful. Because I need this to overlap again. No. Come on. Why is building so crappy and far sometimes? I'm so irritated. I tell you. My only complaint, my one and only complaint, build mode was awesome in Farm Sim 19. It was awesome. Everybody was used to it. It worked perfectly. <laughs> and I don't know what happened after that. Something happened after that. All right, we'll just kind of go on and try not to get close to the bridges because obviously we have shown that we cannot be trusted near bridges. All right, now uh, let's see through there. Don't really want to mess with this too much. There's the bridge, so let's stay nice and far away from that. And we'll continue to smooth that around, around the edges here. So you can see this. This is a step that a lot of people will skip just because they don't care if it looks smooth or not. They just want it to be functional. But one of the great things about a nice farm is the beauty of the farm. You definitely don't want to skip this step. So once you got everything flattened out and you know where your buildings are going to go, Go back out and just kind of smooth out the area around it. It's good for you. All right, so now we've got all of the smoothing done. Let's get some painting done. Let's go back in here. Let's go into landscaping and let's go to painting. A lot of this is going to be grass. Let's let's be totally real here. So we want to find our grassland, which is right there. And this is going to match up perfectly with the edge of everything, kind of like that. So we'll go out to about like that. And of course, we'll come back through and we'll paint right up to that as well. So... Anything for the animals, that's cool. We'll get in there and we'll paint that. And we'll get up right about here. There you go. And we'll draw a little pathway there as well. So I'm just gonna go through and we'll fill in all the blanks here with grass before we actually put down paintable grass. So it's starting to kind of look together. So all of the regular base grass is down. Now we go in, we save the game once again because I know me. I'm gonna mess it all up. <laughs> I don't want to either. Let's go down into plants now and we want to select meadow. Now the meadow is gonna give us well, a meadow of grass. We're gonna get pretty close as well to the edge of some of this, uh, some of this area right here. So just be careful when you're doing this, but it's basically just meadow grass. And you could paint this however you want, wherever you want. Uh, this is the grass that's all around the map. I do recommend being uh, you know, semi-cautious with this. <laughs> you could paint grass just about anywhere you want. One of the great things is you could mow this as well. So paint it down and get it mowed. But it's not completely like the grass that's on the rest of the map. So, you know, just be wise where you're putting it down. As I'm coming through here, putting the final touches on all of the paintable grass, I want to remind you that don't, uh, don't worry about making this completely perfect. In the world of video games, perfection only works in, like, Minecraft. And that's about it. In Farming Simulator, and especially with games that are more natural and lifelike and realistic and, you know, more of a simulation of how the world actually is, with something like this, you can almost make it a little bit weird if it's not random. So don't be afraid to go and, you know... Make this a little random if you go over your line a little bit. Hey, don't worry. Or maybe, you know, overcorrect it. So don't be worrying. You can see I'm I'm not even <laughs> I'm not even trying to granted I'm filling in a lot of space right now. But you know, don't worry about trying to make this perfect. Just go through, fill in your blanks, get done what you need to do, and make it, you know, make it your own. Make it look cool. Make it neat and different and and you. Make it you. You're the only person that has to like this anyway. But enjoy yourself. This is one of the things that I love about farm building, especially Farming Simulator 22 has really opened it up with a lot of features. Now, granted, I know I said I like the, the build mode better and landscaping better in Farming Simulator 19, but 
the mode itself is actually laid out pretty simple and we've got a lot more features. So take a look at them, try a little bit, try one thing, maybe something else, stay in your comfort zone at first and then really let yourself go loose. Ooh. No, 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 back. Let's get rid of that. That does not look good. We'll leave a little bit, why not? And really the last thing that we need to do here is placing down some trees. That's really gonna make the area pop. It's gonna make it look the best that it possibly can. So let's go in, let's find some trees. Let's go into landscaping, trees, and let's party. So which trees do you guys wanna place down? We've got a bunch of areas like this that kinda need some big floofy kinda uh, trees. So maybe something kinda like this. I just realized we're placing down trees when it's completely dead outside. Perfect. Perfect timing to do exactly what we're doing right now. So thankful that I waited until just right now to place down trees of bushes. <laughs> this isn't going to look good at all yet, is it? This looks absolutely like garbage. Oh, I hate dead trees. What is it, December? Oh, we are we got a little bit of time. You know what? I'm just gonna place down a bunch of trees that I think might look decent when they're alive. And we'll, we'll just kinda go from there, man. Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Super random. That is, that's what I've gone for here. A super random layout. Don't worry, I got my thumbnails. We're all good to go. So we spent a lot of money. We ain't even... <clears throat> we spent a lot of money is what we did. Let's go ahead and jump down here. And I guess now we need to... Oh, that's going to be bumpy. Uh, we need to buy the animals. So let's do that. I think we're just going to stick with a bunch of Holsteins. And uh, let's see. Let's go with a... Let's see, animals that are healthy and older than 18 months can reproduce. So we're actually not gonna have them reproduce, which is interesting, I'm sure, but I just want them to, hang on, well, let me, oh no, oh yeah, I forgot, I absolutely hate the way that you buy animals and farm some night oh boy this is gonna be fun well we got some animals uh let's make our way around slowly but surely buy more let's go happy 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 little animals everywhere all of the animals have been purchased all the chickens the sheep the pigs and the cattle oh yeah as you can see all of them right here uh only slightly out of order uh we <laughs> we've got some some pigs some chickens, sheep, cattle, and then for some reason everything's a little bit of out of order down at the bottom. So here's what we need to do now. We gotta feed them. I have no idea how I'm gonna feed this many animals. All right, I think I got a good idea here. Only problem is I, I may have turned in at the wrong entrance and, and it's still not as bad. I mean, I think I'm getting like maybe 25 FPS just cause OBS sucks, but other than that, we're doing we're doing okay. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna have to close this out and reopen it. Come on, you're ruining my video, OBS. There we go. Not too bad. So, uh, uh, yeah, you guys can see what I'm seeing now, and you know it's not awful. I w I will give it that. It's not awful. That worse than <clears throat> way worse. Ooh, what is this for? I think this is milk, right? Yeah, that's for milk. Um, so I've had way worse, but you know forty. I'm used to 60 locked, so this is this is a bit interesting for me. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is go through and get some. Okay, so maybe forage mixing wasn't it? Maybe it's just forage in general. I thought it was forage mixing. Oh, so it's a forage is TMR. Okay, fair enough. So what I'm gonna do is we'll go through and. Oh, that's not gonna be good. Let's stop that from happening. I thought that emptied out straight out of the back. What happened was that was not it. That was not it at all. Let's try with something a little bit. Well, my speed. <laughs> hey, these little trailers right here. Also, uh, FPS, not terrible. It's, it's not bad. 
Uh, better than I expected, especially for putting this many animal pens in one area. Uh, I do not recommend anyone do that. Ever. Don't. Just just do me a favor and don't do that. <laughs> but if you're going to, you may as well have fun with it and do it, do it well. All right, so animal feed is filling up. And I think we're, we're looking pretty good. Yep. Okay, so we got our 60,000 liters of food. Uh, they still need straw, but other than that, they are good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, I'm going to feed each one of these head of cattle. So there's the first one. We'll go ahead and open that up right there. We'll pull through and we'll feed these guys as well. And yeah, whenever we're done here, we will uh, we'll come around, do a little bit of... Straw running. Straw is going in next. Everything is looking good there. So it took 38,000 liters of straw. Not too bad. Not too bad at all, which means we can get through at least this next one. And one thing that I've been doing is I've been doing both trailers at once, basically doing a double dump for the head of cattle. So check this out. So we'll go ka -chung, ka -chung, and then we'll double dump just as such. Yara. All right. So once these guys are going to be done feeding the, uh, well, feeding the chickens are going to be super easy because it's just wheat. But we also need to feed pigs, which is going to be pig food and straw, I believe. And then we've also got to feed the sheep, which is, well, fortunately for us, just grass. All right. Nice and easy part. Here we are with the pigs. Now, the pigs are going to take a little bit extra time to do everything so i'm gonna go back through here we're gonna go and fill this up back up with straw so that i can come through with the first bit i think it goes in here yep so i've actually never done pigs before up until just now and you guys know me in farm sim 19 rarely rarely did pigs never never uh doing pigs with seasons was awful i hated it so i didn't do it because they didn't give me anything and that's kind of the whole point doing pigs, at least for me. All right, so they are taking in the straw, doing good. As a matter of fact, I could probably come through here with the larger trailer and be a little, just ever so slightly better off. Oh, yeah, what you know about this? What you know about the big old Mack truck? In fact, I saw one of these the other day. It's pretty cool. Made me happy. We'll pull back here, dump the straw out. This shouldn't take very long at all. Going back, going back, going back. Actually, it's taking a whole... It's taking a whole lot. A whole lot more than I thought it would. There we go. So there's that. We'll go ahead and fill up, and we'll give them some pig food while we are here. Now, I am cheating this stuff in now, of course. I mean, it's kind of what I do. Uh, but later on down the road, I'm not going to be cheating this stuff in. I'm actually going to be going through making what the pigs need, making what the... Uh, well, everybody. Making what everybody needs. I think that's going to be the fun way to do it. To make sure that, you know, we have to either buy or do everything. But, you know what? This first feeding, that's eh, on the house. I knew there was a sliding floor option to this. So, if you go in and you select, like, tip back, and then you've also got the uh, tip... Oh, goodness, what is it? Uh, tip grain door. We've also got... Oh, there we go. Uh, no more capacity for gas. Sweet, because I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think it'll work. Um, yeah, it'll also do like a little sliding thing, which is super cool sliding floor. There you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this thing barely fits under here. I would never in a million years use this again because it's dangerous, baby. Uh, one thing is, on the uh, all the chickens, I can't feed them with this. It won't work. I put them too close together and I can't put the semi-truck in between, so... There we go. Yeah, there we are. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to have to go get, like, the smallest thing that I own just so I can get everything in here. Hang out. Go with me. Go with me. There's, it's literally right over here. I use it for feeding the chickens all the time. It works perfect. And go ahead and uh, pull this over here, at least for now. We're going to turn that off. So it's right here. Yes, this. I'm going to have to use this. <laughs> But this trailer, for example, I'm actually not going to use this trailer because... There we go. We'll do a little savey save right there. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do it because we've got... Well, we got a modded version of this that, that I made. 
Yeah, and if you guys watched my how to edit XML video, you'll have seen it. So make sure you go check that out if you haven't already. All right, let's so get rid of that. And then let's go back up here into trailers. And I think it's at the very, very end. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's over here at the very, very end. So, my did. Yeah! So, the big version right here, this holds 50,000 liters. I'm not going to do that. We're just going to go with this right here, which holds 25. Uh, no cover, and we'll do a black chassis color. DJ Go Ham. We'll go ahead and buy that. Should be right around here somewhere. Yep, there it is, right there. So, yeah, this will hold 50,000 liters or 25,000 liters. Hopefully, I coded it right and it doesn't weigh anything. Hey, I did it right. So, we've got basically the exact same trailer, same everything. I will say, the FPS has not been happy. It's it's still trying, as you can see at the top right, 57, 58, somewhere around there. We're doing okay. Oh, boy. It is... It is something else. Oh, we got to turn down here. So I am going to get the uh, chickens. We're going to get them fed. We're going to get them nice and happy. And I think we're going to be pretty close to done at that point because we will have done everything that I needed to do. So there you go. There is DJ's animal area here on Elm Creek. This is going to be a lot to keep up beforehand. Everything was pretty easy, and people kept calling me out and saying, DJ, you're not doing animals. Why aren't you doing any animals? And I said I was going to wait. Well, looks like we're not waiting anymore. I think, uh, what do we have, 12, 6, 18 animal pens? That's plenty. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, drop a like, get subscribed if you're new, join the Gohan fam. Make sure your notifications are on as well, so that you never miss, well, anything here on the channel. Otherwise, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.